Don't mind me. I'm just surrounded by a couple of uh, perfect game winners right here. The Davids, David Wells, David Cohn. David Wells, I'll start with you. What's it like to be back? It's always a blessing to come back here, you know, especially Old Timers Day. You get to see the old the old band, you know, we're back together. And then, you know, the smack talking starts again. And, you know, and, and then the memories come back and you just you just have fun. It's a great feeling. And, you know, and on top of that, you know, the Yankee fans, especially our era, they're out there and they're excited to see us as well. So you see on Twitter, they're like all stoked to be here. They're pissed that we're not playing. But I said, I can't throw two feet, so let alone that. So we'll do a Q&A. <laughs> well, we also need this guy in the booth as well. David, when you think about that 1998 team, what comes to mind? I'm just thankful, you know, that it, it's in the argument for one of the greatest teams of all time. And I just, there's so many things in that year I remember. But I remember the entire roster, 1 through 25, was deep. And everybody contributed that year. And uh, I remember his perfect game. He, he, I remember... Uh, you know that that middle of May game, like like it was yesterday, and uh, that set us off on a run that that we just never looked back. I'm glad you mentioned it because I was going to. What do you remember about that day? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> I remember about the eighth inning when Coney told me to break out a knuckleball, and I looked at him because nobody talked to me the whole game. I go sit next to somebody. I remember sitting next to Tino, and he got up and walked away, and I just I was a lonely guy. And then I think in the eighth inning, Coney just comes up to me and he goes, "Hey Boomer," he goes, "Why don't you just break out that knuckleball?" I go. What are you talking about? I don't throw a knuckleball. He goes, I play catch with you every day. He goes, break it out. And I'm just, and then it registered. I know what he was doing. He was just trying to get my mind off it. Well, I go out, one, two, three. I come in. He's on the top step, his vein popping out, <laughs> calling me explicit. And I'm like, I'm, I, I, I'm like, what the hell? But that's what calmed me down. So he, he's a lot of credit to that because he got the nerves down. Because when you're in a situation like that, you try, you're thinking about not making a mistake. And I didn't think about anything. I just went out and did the job. You guys are clearly good friends. Were you just as nervous? It's harder watching it than it actually is pitching in it. You know, you're one guy that can say that. Yes, I can. I can definitely tell you that I was. I wanted it so badly for him because I knew. The thing about David is, is that he understands the history of the game. He's got a memorabilia collection back to Babe Ruth, some of the greatest Yankees of all time. So he knows about the history of the game and what it means. So I knew that what that would mean to him if, if he could make his mark in Yankee history and baseball history. And uh, that's why it was so hard watching it, because I wanted it so badly for him. Okay, before I let you guys go, that moment aside, your favorite moment of the other favorite moment of the 1998 season. You, you know, I think it was every day coming to the ballpark because we were such a unity as a team. You know, we did everything together on and off the field, you know, and then to me that it's just everything resonated. And uh, but, you know, I, actually, I'll go. And it was a Joe Torre story in the beginning of the season. We lost like three or four games in a row and he came into the clubhouse and aired us all out. But he pointed out he called out Jeter. He called out everybody. And it was like, wow, what's going on? And then we just excelled from there so it was great and same for you coney favorite moment perfect game and actual win aside yes uh, no i you know i i think you know you hate to point to things that happen in terms of like a brawl on the field but that did bring us close together and you know and people talk about seeing graham lloyd and jeff nelson come running out of the dugout and armando benitez and that whole baltimore thing uh it certainly certainly brought us closer together i think because it was tino and uh tino, tino was our guy and uh, you mess with Tino, you mess with all of us. And uh, that, that's the way that, that group, that, that's the way we rolled. Do you guys think you can still get back out there, put the whole no. squad on the field and see how you do? No, I got, I got surgery set for the 29th of November to get a new shoulder. So, yeah, so I'm going to be out of commission. All right, maybe next time. Hey, guys, thank you for the time. Enjoy the day, and we will send it back to you.